Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII on Usagi TV. My name is Ernesto, and we're going to get started right away. Uh, last episode, uh, we were looking for Hope. We just arrived to Grand Pulse, and he is missing, so let's continue. It's a treasure chest with a partisan, which is a weapon for Fang. Let's see what it does. Increases her magic, and I don't want that for her right now, so I'm going to leave her there. And I think I'm very close to give um, to giving Sass a cure, so I'm going to see if that's going to happen. Almost there. Probably one more fight. Okay, I think this is going to be a little bit better. <laughs> Alright.
see the um, exclamation point on the map, which means I think that's hope. Huh? Hope! <laughs> <laughs> So this is how it ends. Just wait. Now, how long has it been since we left Cocoon? Hmm? Not a single soul for miles around. Not a single clue about this whole sea mess. What I'm saying is, we did well just getting this far. But we could go a little further. Hmm? Meaning? There's still one place. The Neo? Oh. Are you sure? I'm sure. You know, if we don't find anything this time, we won't get another chance. Huh? Erba. Hey. Uh, the place it all began. Uh, Hope. The place where the pulse fell sea lay dreaming. Vanille and Fang's home. Just maybe. It'll be the place where we find the answers we're looking for. Yeah, right. If we can get there. <laughs> Go ahead without me. We can't just leave you. I'll be fine. You've all taught me so much. You showed me how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did I tell you? Leave the fighting to me. <laughs> I'm scared. We understand. You're not gonna go through this ordeal alone, you know. Huh? That's what scares me. I don't... I don't want to see you get hurt because of me. It'd be better for everyone if I just stayed behind. <laughs> <laughs> Mention ordeals, and look what comes along! This is not an ordeal. This is a gift. Hope! Huh? This is the kind of power you've got inside, and it's telling you not to give up. Trust me. Huh? Oh, I get it. It's here to show you the way. Show you that you've got what it takes to get back on your feet and do this thing! You mean... that came from me? Okay, so I'm going to start by casting. A little bit of offensive magic here. Go into protection. Start casting protect on the entire party. I will also cast Shell. I will have try to have Fang deal with most most of his attacks by being in a sentinel 
as I try to build up his uh, Gestalt bar, which I'm aware that's not at all how you pronounce it. Making switches to uh, combat clinic. For defeating him, I get the Alexander Adolith and the ability to summon uh, Alexander in battle with Hope. And Hope ga also gains an additional ATB segment. That's some beast you tamed, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I always thought the Eidolons appeared to set us free through death. But now, I think maybe they're here to snap us out of our slumps. Oh, like the one you were just in? <laughs> I'll ask for help earlier next time around. Uh, uh. I told you, on Grand Pulse, we're all family. You can moan all you like, but you're stuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> you're never alone in hell. <laughs> Listen, funny man, don't call this place uh. hell, all right? So... We're all decided then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Maybe nothing would change. And maybe we'd hit a dead end. But we were at least going to see where the road would take us. The search for a home buried in the past and the faintest glimmer of hope. Our final journey had just begun. Let's go. This stone, it's... Look familiar? It's a kind of seeth. It's in the last stage. A seeth. Don't worry. It's no threat to anyone anymore. The sea that fail their focus become sea and wander the wilds. Eventually, they lose the will to go on and turn to stone. But still, even in this state, they can't forget the task they once had. And they call out to the sea over and over 
complete my focus. So they're doomed to eternal regret, huh? It's pretty horrible. Well, hey, we should help this one out. I mean, come on, we, we can't just ignore it. Listen, if we fail our focus, it could be us suffering like that. Wow, what a happy thought. That's not like you. But going out of his way to help someone, that's snow all over. Okay, so this unlocks the Seath Stone missions, which there's 64 of them, or 65, something like that. I'll check. I'll let you know next video. And um, you can get up to five stars in each one of them, and they're considered the side events or side quests of this game. I'm going to have to set myself back up the way I was. This is the first mission, the Bunscom. I just have to take it on, and then there will be a destination marker in the map. Alright, and I think now I should have enough points to finally teach Saz Cure, which he can help out a little bit. There you go. That blue thing in the distance is the mark for the mission. bring Bahama in. We haven't seen him yet. Bahamut. You know what to do!
My party earned the rank of a uh, good Samaritan, and I also get the energy sash, energy sash, which is a good accessory. I believe it increases speed. We'll check it out right after this. It actually gives you TP back every time you defeat an enemy. I'm gonna head back to the safe spot that it was at the beginning of this area and I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys for this episode. Thank you so much for uh, continuing to watch uh, Final Fantasy 13 here on Osaka TV. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to uh, continue watching uh, the playthrough. Uh, as usual, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.